everybody at Sports Time. I'm Ricardo Light. One tonight, this one goes out to my very good friend Kevin Albury. You know he's with the Boulevard Station. He always walks with us here in Zemnes Walk. Hey, Kevin, it's your day, buddy. The Isle of Grand Bahama and indeed the country is still buzzing over Buddy Hill being drafted by the NBA New Orleans Pelicans. Joe Davis Roll has a reaction from the Prime Minister on Buddy Ball. With the sixth pick in the 2016 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Buddy Heald from Freeport, Bahamas. It is a moment in history that Bahamas will replay in their hearts and minds for some time to come. As the Bahamas through a perennial basketball player who hails from the heart of 8 Mile Rock Grand Bahama, Shavano Buddy Heald, is thrust into the international spotlight during the NBA Draft. The 22-year-old basketball sensation was the sixth overall pick in the first round, selected by the New Orleans Pelicans. Reliving that magical moment and basking in the significance of such an achievement was the nation's leader, the Prime Minister of the Right Honorable Perry Christie while on Grand Bahama. Prime Minister Christie beaming with pride as he underscored what the rise to the international prominence not only means for Buddy Heald, but indeed this country. What the country should recognize is that Buddy Hill will inspire a new generation of young athletes to be the best they could. And they will find out that some of them are gifted like Buddy Hill. And some of them will be able to say, I want to be like Buddy. The Prime Minister stated that these young men and women, like WNBA standout John Quell Jones, all personify greatness and embodies what it means to be a real role model. He's going to meet in New Orleans another Bahamian offshoot named Eric Gordon, whose mother is a Bahamian, who, a Williams from New Providence. And together they're going to be on that, that team. And I expect, therefore, that even though some of us pull for the Miami Heat, some of us pull like myself for the Los Angeles Lakers, with all our fingers crossed, um, we're going to now be looking um, not just at Golden State that has a Bahamian roots person on Clay Thompson, but we're now going to be looking at New Orleans where there are two Bahamians and there's Buddy Heal. With ZNS Total Sports, I'm Joe Davis Roll. Well, officers, uh, law enforcement are taking some time out from fighting crime to get together to play a little bit of softball as they had their competition. And me tell you what, it was a two-day event, and on Saturday, our Megan Shepherd stopped to find out exactly what's going on with Mobile and Weston on the diamond. The men and women that serve and protect 24-7, taking time for some sporting fun and camaraderie. Assistant Superintendent of Police Henry Stubbs says that some years ago they started a divisional softball league and this year the fun continued. All divisions were represented and Stubbs says it was a good weekend of friendly competition. What we're trying to develop here is unity and camaraderie. Um, it's all also um, to do with fitness. Um, today, um, we would have seen, seen where we have all the families, wives, kids, everybody represented, just to enjoy a day. PC 2874 Rudolph Roll of the Mobile Division acting as coach for the day. He says it's a great initiative that was implemented, but unfortunately his team was falling behind. Right now we're having some, some challenges uh, with some runs right now, but uh, we're, down, we're down a run right now. But I'm sure my team will get it together. We're very resilient and we'll, we'll do what's needed to come back and get this victory. And speaking of falling behind, our news team learned that while Senior Assistant Commissioner of Police Emmerich Seymour may be great at defeating the criminal element, softball, on the other hand, may not be his calling. I think what happened was um, the sun got in his eyes. As you know, we're playing slow pitch and the ball goes up and come down. So he had to really look up and the sun was really in his eye and it really caused him to... <laughs> Western defeated Mobile 7-6, Eastern over Headquarters 12-11, and Fire over Central 11-9. Megan Shepard, CNS Total Sports. I gotta say, Gubby, stop bailing the boss out. The boss missed the ball, okay? Anyhow, the first annual Frederick Basti on track and field recently held at the Grandma Sports Complex was in honor of a man who gave much to the sport. Here's Megan for that. The first annual Frederick Bastian track invite bringing together top track athletes for some heated competition in honor of the late track enthusiast. Head coach of Kenyan Knights Jason Larmore says that Bastian had a big impact on many athletes and the invitation was just one way to keep his memory alive. We didn't really expect a big turnout from the, the, the youth athletes because their season is basically over. 
but the turnout is pretty good. Uh, we have clubs from North Andres, Moors Island, three clubs are in Nassau, TWD, Roadrunners, Sunblazers, High Performance, those are just some of the clubs out in Nassau. But I, th I just want to thank everybody for their support, for coming over and supporting the first annual Frederick Bastian invite. The event also bringing up professional athletes that are looking to fine-tune for upcoming national and international meets. Puma athlete Chavez Hart has already qualified for the Rio Olympics and says the Invitational was a good preparation run. College student Jamaica McBride is still hoping to qualify for the Olympics and says her coach insisted she participate. She won the Open Women 100 meters. It wasn't really that tough for me, but I know Brianne was like, she's good and like everyone her ball for the top in the Bahamas, but I noticed I just focus on me and run my replay and I could do it. 2012 Olympic gold medalist Demetrius Pinder also participating, hoping to have a repeat victory come August. I um, just wanted to came up, come out here and make it feel good, see how my legs feel. Megan Shepard, S, Total Sports. And I got to say to my good friend Kevin, buddy, you celebrate, you are deserving. One of the better kids you'll find around there. That's it for sports tonight.